Hello friends, so today we will be looking at how to install Sublime Text and also Emmet, Emmet plugin. So let's first download Sublime Text. Installing Sublime Text is a straightforward process. You just have to go to their website and download the respective versions. If you are on Windows, download the Windows version and if you are on a Mac, download the, the OS X version. Here you can see that the download is in progress. It's a pretty small file, only 12 MB. I will wait for the download to complete and let's open the file. The installation window might differ from operating system to operating system. If you are on Windows, just follow the installation steps. It's pretty easy, just like installing any other software. And once you have installed some lime text, just open it. Here I will save the file as index.html. You can save it in any folder. Once you have done that, let's check whether Emmet is installed. Just type HTML colon 5 and hit tab. Now you can see that Emmet doesn't come as a default package in Sublime. So first you have to go to tools and then command palette. And the first step is to install package control. For that you have to first type in package control and select install package control. Once you do that, you can see and you will soon get the message that the package control was in successfully installed. Now the second step is to go to tools and select command palette again. And this time instead of package control, you have to type install package once you get this window you have to type in emmet and click on emmet this will start the emmet package installation pro process you can see the process on your screen here once the process is completed, you will get a message. Now you are getting a message that it's loading a binary. Just wait for the successful message to appear here. Yes, uh, so now you can see that the binary is successfully loaded. Now you can test the emmet plugin you have to just type html colon 5 hit tab here you go so emmet is successfully installed now let's do a check for the css file open a new file and save it as style.css emmet also works for css shortcuts I will just create a class name just and here you see that instead of typing color I can just type C and hit tab. You can see on the right hand side that it shows that it will work for color. So you get the hint there itself. I will show it again. If you scroll down you will see many shortcuts. For example for clear it's CL. For columns, COLM. Likewise, for others like CP for clip, CT for content, and there are tons of others. 
you will have to go through their website i will provide a link in the description below i will now install an additional css plugin you just type emmet and you will find emmet css snippets now this has some additional features apart from the built-in emmet css features now once you have installed it you will get this message and inside this message you will get a cheat sheet link you can just copy this link into the browser as a reference just copy the link and paste it in the browser window here you can see that it's showing the complete list of CSS shortcuts so for margin just type M hit tab or M dash A margin auto instead of this you can also type a numerical value for example if you want to uh, type width as 20 pixels you can give w colon 20 and hit tab that will work you can also give a minus width by w minus 20 or you can even type w 20 and hit tab So uh, this will speed up your workflow and uh, for margin you can just use the M0, padding 0, P0. These are the most common properties used in CSS. Likewise FL for float left. Actually uh, it's the default value is left so it gives the option for you to correct it to right. For uh, float right you can just type FR and hit tab so you got the idea I guess so I will show you an example how Emmet plugin will make your life easy while typing HTML so let's open a div here I will name the class as container and within the container class I will type another class let's name it div class logo or let's make it a header or and let's create another class let's name it nav for navigation and within the header class or let's copy the nav div inside the header div and let's create another div here and let's name the div as logo div class as logo now within the nav div let's create an unordered list and a list here I will name it index or let's name it something else services.html I will just give the link name as services and I will give another list name let's link it to about.html about and just close the li tag so this is how you type html the normal way now I will just show you how to type it using the emmet shortcuts using emmet here so I will just type dot container 
greater than dot header greater than and inside the header you see two divisions here so i will just type dot logo plus dot nav that's because these two divisions are inside the header division and then greater than unordered list greater than list into two because i have two list here greater than a for link and press tab and here you can see that the whole structure has come live that two properly indented so let's type the links here just type tab tab to go to the correct locations and let me type about now you have seen that how fast it was to create the html code using emmet so this is the professional uh, way of coding html files quickly this is also known as speed coding or zen coding coding or zen coding do like and subscribe to my channel for tips and tricks uh, regarding web design thanks for watching